Jojo's Jigsaw Puzzle. It's no use, Scruffy, said Jojo. This last piece just won't fit. It's completely the wrong shape and the wrong colour. It should be blue, not red. Jojo stuffed the piece into her pyjama pocket and climbed into bed. I wish it would fit, she thought as she drifted off to sleep. <sighs> I do wish it would fit. <sighs> that night, something very strange happened. Hey, Scruffy, look! The bed's moving! Look! We're flying! And so they were, flying high among the stars. I do hope this bed knows where it's going. I'd hate to be lost up here. They flew on at great speed, on and on into deepest space, amazed at all the strange things they saw. My friends at school will never believe this, said Jojo, and Scruffy was too amazed even to bark. Crash! Without warning, the bed came to a sudden stop. What a weird place, said Jojo. I wonder if anybody lives here. Look, Scruffy, there's somebody. Let's go and ask him where we are. You're on the moon, explained the man. And I'm the caretaker here. I keep the place tidy. Every time a star crashes into the moon, it makes a big hole. And it's my job to clean up afterwards. There's always a lot to do. Now, come along with me. After a short but bumpy ride, they arrived at the man's house. It was quite cold on the moon, and Jojo began to wish she'd brought her slippers with her. I don't get many visitors, said the man, but you'll be nice and warm in here. The man's house was very cosy inside. Now, you two make yourselves at home while I put the kettle on. Jojo could hear him humming in the kitchen. Oh, look, Scruffy. Let's have a go at finishing this jigsaw puzzle. Ah, that's very strange, she said. It only needs one red piece to be complete, but the last piece is blue. Hang on a minute. Jojo looked in her pyjama pocket and found the red piece from her jigsaw at home. Scruffy, look! It fits! The piece from my jigsaw fits this puzzle perfectly. Just then, the man returned with two mugs of tea. Jojo told him about the jigsaw. Oh, thank you, thank you. That's wonderful. I've been trying to finish it for ages. You're very kind, said Jojo, but I really think we should go home now. The trouble is, I've got no idea how to get back. Leave it to me, said the man. I reckon I've got just the thing out in my garage. Now, this old spaceship hasn't been used for years, but I'll soon have it going. You wait and see. Oh. Ah. Ah, there. That should do it. Now then, you make sure these knots are all quite tight. When I say ready, hang on for dear life. All right. Jojo thought the old spaceship would never start. Then suddenly it shuddered into life like an old rattling hairdryer and began to lurch across the ground, dragging the bed, Jojo and Scruffy up into the night sky once again. Then, way out in space, the ropes broke. Oh, wait! Wait for us! shouted Jojo. But the man in the spaceship couldn't hear. The bed was left floating through space. <gasps> now we really are lost, Scruffy. And I'm getting terribly cold. They drifted helplessly among the stars. We'll never get home, thought Jojo. <gasps> and I'm so tired. And she fell fast asleep. When she woke up, 
She couldn't believe her eyes. She was back in her bedroom at home, and it was morning. Gosh, Scruffy, I, I had this amazing dream. It was all about... Jojo stopped and took out a jigsaw piece from her pocket. It was blue and fitted her puzzle perfectly. Then it wasn't a dream. And you were there too, Scruffy, weren't you? Ah! <laughs>